Hi, good morning everybody, it's Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. Oh, it's a bit chilly out today. I just was taking a walk in my our garden, our yard, and um, just wanted to say hello to you guys. I hope it's not too windy out. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully you can hear. I was using my GoPro. Um, I can't get used to it. It, it, it it's, it's films very good, but it's all staccato, but then it, it's okay when I'm actually editing it. I don't know. I, I, I can't get used to it yet. So I'm back to using my, my old camera here. Um, just wanted to say, oh, I hope that you can hear me because the wind. Um, uh, we're going to be walking down to the bridge, Maxwell, Ian and I. Maxwell is, uh, is not here right now. And I just wanted to tell you, give you an update. Um, Maxwell, as you know, has epilepsy. He's our 21-year-old son, who's also autistic. Um, and he's been home with, with dad and mom here for the last year, quarantining. He had the opportunity to go with his, uh, his uh, let's see, our, our sixth son, Jean-Pierre, who's married and has a child, um, uh, over the weekend, for the last two days. Um, it's real nice for Maxwell um, to get a change of scenery, but also killing two birds with one stone. Um, Maxwell had an appointment down at um, Temple University Hospital where he's being seen by an adult neurologist. He had been being, he had been seen by his pediatric neurologist um, since he was four, but when he turned 21 they assigned him a new neurologist um, who's a very nice person down at Temple University. So um, six months ago Malia, our daughter, um, had volunteered during COVID um, to take him down for a much needed uh, checkup, which he had. Um, and this time, Malia's not available. Um, this time I said to Jean-Pierre, uh, I said to, to, to Ian, you know, I, I, just, I just can't face the parking and everything and going down into the city. It's not that far, but <laughs> I've lost my nerve. <laughs> and um, Jean-Pierre had said, oh, I'll take him, Mom. <laughs> Maxwell's brothers and sisters uh, brothers and sister always come up trumps for him. He's like, of course, I'll take him. I'll be, I'll be happy to. So make an adventure. And he said he can come, he can stay with us um, for a few days. So it's lovely for, for Maxwell. But we called and the um, upshot of his appointment was uh, Jean-Pierre and Maxwell were telling us that um, he had uh, blood work taken uh, the last time to check his uh, bone density. I don't know, he's on a medication apparently that um, affects after a while the bone density. Well, they're like, <laughs> um, he's absolutely fine. I'm like, he's a strong, sturdy, true love with thick, thick bones. Um, so that was fine. They took other blood work. Um, he did do, um, Jean-Pierre was, a, was, a, was a intrigued. They did a, a walking test. Um, he had to roll his foot over to the left um, slowly pigeon walking and and uh, he kept sort of faltering to the left not falling over but here the injury is on the back left part of his brain and it was affecting him I never realized that um, and they also he has to in um, oh, uh, three months time he has to have a an ambulatory um, EEG so he'll be hooked up which he's had many of them he'll be hooked up but then he'll have to um, be walking around for three days uh, um, performing normal duties um, hooked up so they can they can see what's just going on with his brain but he's okay with that I didn't want to um, I didn't want to uh, you know talk about him while he was there. I'm going to film us going down to the bridge a little bit later. I don't want to embarrass him. He He's not embarrassed about me talking about him to you guys, but perhaps standing right next to him. Um, I always ask Maxwell, is, is he comfortable with me filming? I don't ever want to do anything to um, upset him um, or to, to embarrass him. And he's like, no, 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 that's cool. So I just thought before, um, before we walk down to the bridge, um, I thought I'd just let you guys know what's going on. As I said, it's a beautiful day here. Absolutely glorious. Very, very pretty cold. Um, but that's to be expected. It's March. The sun is shining. And um, yeah, I just thought you'd be interested in that. And then we're going to go down to the bridge. We walked down yesterday, Ian and I. We thought they were building the walls, the, t the tall walls. Uh, they're not. They're, they're building up the bridge. It's going to be actually a, a real 
uh, we're, you're gonna go up to the bridge and then back down over it but it's very pretty I try to get a picture of it um, I don't think I can get it on our side but I can get it on the other side so um, I'll tag that onto the back of this but I just wanted to say hello and I hope you're all staying well and healthy and keeping warm or cool wherever you are and um, yeah so we're gonna go down the bridge all right see you bridge oh it is pretty the gray the volume of water that can go through there I don't think you're gonna have problems well it looks like they certainly much, looks much and it looks like they're really building up the bank over there yes. near our house which is up there through the woods this is much much better it's very pretty. The uh, I believe the last video was just the just the arch, and then I was showing you guys the forms that they were using. So there, the that's the grey wall forms. Yet yeah, it's, it's much bigger. This bank hasn't been built up like those over there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, look, it's a pretty reflection. It's lovely, isn't it? Hello everyone. It's Ian and Jean here. Jean and Ian. It, Jean and Ian. Um, <laughs> Maxwell's not here. The, the last video I put up, the last clip I put up, well, we were going to put Maxwell. Um, he's not come back from his brothers. Um, we're not expecting him till later. But he's we having want, a mini vacation, yeah, really. He, yeah, he's having this little couple day vacation. I want to talk to you about, and I know what you guys are going to say. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. Oh dear. Um, I'm going to talk to you about bamboo. <laughs> now, the, the chap across the way here, if you can see it. No, it's probably so windy. Probably so windy, I'm sorry. Has a ton of bamboo that he ha actually has to cut down um, once a year because it's so, so, so invasive. We understand that it's invasive. However, we, there's the end of our bridge. Our woods is now being well, denuded to make way for the bridge. And I was saying to Ian, why can't we put in some bamboo in the woods? What did you say, Ian? Well, bamboo, its runners, its roots spread like crazy underground and you get bamboo forests right. very quickly that uh, many people say are uncontrollable. What do you think? Well, I think if we put it in the far in the woods that have been that are a mess because of the flooding, um, it would sort of thicken up, maybe take root in the ground and help with the with the privacy. With the, with you the want privacy. Some privacy. I want privacy. I just want to show you guys. Yeah, from the, from our house. Um, we're just walking down here again. I don't know what what you're hearing. I don't have my GoPro because I'm finding it. Ooh. 
Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, the wind just came up terribly. Oh, my. So, here's the forest that we're... we're I don't know where the mic is. Yeah, thank right. you. Mike, yeah. where are you? Yeah, I know. Where is the microphone? <laughs> There's the woods, I, forest we're saying. Woods. Um, that I think we should plant bamboo. How but, about you? But look at all this bamboo. Look at all that bamboo over there. Our neighbor breaks that down. greenery there through the winter is bamboo hasn't lost its leaves and that would be super in the woods there or not <laughs> I get I get like people are gonna go oh no it's terrible 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 which I know that it is but because they have behind me taken down so much of that woods in the construction phase I just think, well, why can't we just plant some bamboo? Well, tell our friends what I was thinking about all of the, the scrub in there. Yeah. What was I thinking? Okay, that you're going to get a brush hog and go th go in that woods and and cut it all down. All the scrub, the scrub brush. That's right, because uh, um, we have a view potentially in the summertime of beautiful greenery and uh, young and w older uh, mares stallions colts on the horse farm the horse farm right opposite let's go the other way i don't know i don't know if this is even going to be i don't know if you're even going to hear me because of the wind anyway we did i did film yesterday down at the bridge the, on the other side so we're uh, stand here and just, um, our oh no they know they've seen the horse farm horse farm yeah, yeah they've seen that and, and they've seen that previously so Ian's saying he th thinks he can cut out some of the woods no the scrub well the whole woods is scrubby it's a horrible A brush hog, etc., and just clear out the view so we can see the horse farm. Okay, let me turn this around. And I think now I can turn it around. So here we are coming up to the bridge, as you've seen a hundred times. But as I was saying, the bridge is very high, the road is going to go really high up because those. Those walls are not walls. Are gonna have sides to them. Yeah. Bolted to those four bolts, like mini stanchions and um, parapet palace. I don't know parapet walls. Some different material, not necessarily concrete. Prefabricated and bolted to the top of the, the to, concrete to make parapet. It, to make it look pretty. Yeah. It's it's a little bit. Now it's a little bit, um, not dangerous, but um, not as easy to navigate. <laughs> Again, always bringing in these heavy equipment. As you can see, well, maybe you can't, but from our other little bridge, this is, um, they've really widened the road. They've widened the bridge. The volume of water that can go through there in a storm is probably doubled from what it was before. Which is a good thing.
Um, yeah, so it's still a bit of a mess, but they are making very good progress. Yeah, originally planned to finish in April. I don't think they're going to be too far out. Yeah, yeah, the original was April, and then they did, then we got something through the mail that it was May, because it'll be April in two weeks. I don't think. But they lost a whole month with the bad snow. With the snow. snow, yeah, with the snow. Yeah. So comment below, folks. Should we plant bamboo? <laughs> I know all of you are going to say, "No, it's terrible. You can't get rid of it." But do we want to get rid of it in those woods? Well, if it goes too crazy, yeah, it but... will obscure our view of the bridge completely, and I don't want that. And it well... may may even obscure the view of the horse farm. I don't want that. So well, we can't see the horse farm in the summer anyway. Here, are, folks, we have controversy. No. Which side are you on? Bamboo, who are you? No, controversy, not controversy. Oh, I'm English. <laughs> it's con controversy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't, these woods are thick in the, in the summertime. As you can see, they are very, very thick woods. They don't look at now. They're but very all the scrub brush. Denuded. About 12 foot high, maybe gets green and it obscures the view of the creek of the horse farm from our house so you want to get rid of all of that stuff well maybe not just here by the bridge but further along where we enjoy our deck and uh, the back garden as we say in England okay so how I know quickly you call it a backyard but there's no builders materials out yeah there. I know garden how quickly though from the bridge way up there. I mean, man, you're talking hundreds of yards. Would it take over? It's not going to take over that well, quick. Well, probably here, but you, you'll never see the bridge. I don't want to see home. the bridge. Oh, all right, okay. Do you want to see the bridge? No, we need bamboo then, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need bamboo. I think we need bamboo. We are going to plant trees, though, aren't we, along the road? Yahoo, bamboo, yeah. or trees. What are we going to plant? Uh, you promise. A land eye or you, you promise. fast growing. Fast growing something along along the road. Evergreens. Yeah, because now we are the road, once this bridge gets opened up, it's gonna be a lot busier. Although maybe not. What do you think? I don't think a lot busier because even before they started the bridge, um, it was a car every ten minutes at most. Oh, did you hear that creaking? One of the trees. Gonna come <laughs> One of the trees is going to fall down. <gasps> Did you hear that? Oh, yeah, this. <gasps> oh, this this one's dead. It's already. Look up here. Where, 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 where? See, see the leaning one. Oh, listen. The oh, leaning my. one. It's leaning against a live tree, but it, that itself is dead. That is dangerous. Well, that's what's creaking. Yes, they're they're <gasps> rubbing against each other in the wind. You can't oh, see mate. it at the angle you've got it. Now you can see it. The, see the one that's leaning yes, I see from... The, oh, it's, the, it's, it's hung up. Yes. That's what I heard the other night. Ugh. That's what I heard the other night. Well, the crack. I, I heard a crack. Well, it snapped at the base. Oh, boy. And it's now hung up on a live tree. But if, if it's going that way. It's going that way, yes. I don't know whether that's left or right on the screen. I don't know that what... helps you too. You don't know your left or your right anyway. Be <laughs> <See>, quiet, <laughs> Mr. Clever. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. See, another tree's going to come down, so we got to plant bamboo. <laughs> anyway. All right, folks. Have a good one. Sorry, Maxwell's not here, but I'm sure he sends his love and regards. Arrivederci. Bye.